Thanks for joining us again in the Hillbilly Kitchen. Today we're going to make a no-fail pot roast. And pot roast is great for any time that you're going to have a lot of people and you don't want to be stuck in the kitchen because you literally put it in a pot and forget about it. In fact, it has become a Christmas tradition in our house and every year for probably, probably the past 24 years we have had pot roast on Christmas Day. Christmas Eve we have the big traditional dinner but on Christmas Day we have pot roast because the first couple Christmases I was stuck in the kitchen all day long cooking and I didn't even get to see my kids open their presents. So after that we started this tradition and now my first granddaughter is on her way and for her very first Christmas dinner she will be enjoying pot roast. So tonight I have a lot of people coming over and I have about a four pound sirloin tip roast here you want to cook this a few hours. It does take a little while to get it done. You don't want to cook it fast. If you cook it too fast, it will be tough. And we're going to start by just pouring a little bit of grapeseed oil in our pan. And we're going to take a paper towel and smear this all around the bottom and the sides of the pan. And this is not really to season the meat. It's just kind of to keep it from sticking to your pot as you cook makes it easier to clean, also helps keep it from burning. Okay, now we'll plop this pot roast in here. That's a nice looking roast. This has plenty of fat on it, so you don't need to worry about adding fat to it for flavor. It will have the flavor in it. We're gonna turn it on medium to start, and we're gonna cook it on medium until it browns. You will have to check on this quite a few times. You don't want to burn it, but you want to get it really, really close. Uh, we're going to start, and the salt, pepper, the, the spices we're going to use, they are all to taste, and they depend on the size of the roast you're using. But you do want to cover your meat really well with salt and pepper. And we're going to use just a little bit of garlic powder. I learned a long time ago that garlic is a great way to destroy a good piece of meat. So I'll completely cover that with salt. And then we're going to do the same thing with our pepper. We want to cover it up. And that looks like a lot of pepper, but that is a thick piece of meat. And if you don't get some spices on it, it's not going to taste right. Okay, now. The garlic, again, we're just going to sprinkle a little on. Not too much. You can totally destroy it. And I do like to put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce on this. Anything beef, Worcestershire sauce is really good. It kind of soaks in and helps flavor the meat. It's also going to add some color later on when you do your gravy. And this is just barely starting. We are going to add two medium onions that we have sliced. And I know a lot of you have kids who won't eat onions. By the time this is done cooking, they won't even know there's an onion in it. These are going to completely cook up. They will just give it a lot of flavor. And we're just going to rake those in there. Spread them out over top of the roast. Add just a little more salt and pepper to your onions to bring the flavor of the onions out. And we're going to let this cook. And we will come back and check on it in a little while to see if it's getting brown. We're going to turn it over before we add water to it and really start cooking it for a long time because we want to brown both sides that improves the flavor and it improves the way your roast looks when you take it out and put it on your plate. So let's let that cook. Okay, our roast has been cooking for about two hours now 
and I wanted you to see what it looks like because we haven't added any water to it or any other liquids, just the onions, the roast, and the spices. And as you can see, it has quite a bit of liquid in it. But since it's been cooking for about two hours, we are gonna turn it over now, very carefully. And you can see this side is starting to get brown. The onions are really starting to get clear where they have cooked. And by the time it cooks another three hours, they will be almost gone. Um, I am gonna add a little more salt and pepper because this is a thick roast, it's four pounds. And it's gonna take a lot of salt and pepper to get to the center of that roast. The only thing I did to this um, after I put it in the pot is when it started to sizzle and get hot, I did turn it down uh, a little bit. It's like medium low now instead of medium. Because like I said, you don't want to burn it because that really is the only way to ruin it. Just keep an eye on it and make sure a little liquid stays in there. Before we add our vegetables, we are going to have to add some water. but. And most of the liquid that's in there now that you see will be cooked up before it's time to add the vegetables. But like I said, it's got about another three hours, so we'll start adding vegetables oh, about five o'clock. See y'all then. Okay, we're now getting really close to the five hour mark and most of the liquid is gone. You can see how far down it's cooked. And I told you this is really easy to make. Because I have people coming over, I do not want to be in the kitchen peeling vegetables and cutting them up all day long. So I use these little baby carrots and these are organic peeled baby carrots. So you don't even have to wash them. You just open the bag and throw them in. And I use a new potato, um, has a real thin skin on it. You just wash it and cut it up in chunks. And we'll cut the potatoes up in, the min in a minute because we're gonna add the carrots first they need to cook about twice as long as the potatoes. So I'm gonna attempt to turn this over one more time and it may fall apart because it's really getting tender now. But I want it to brown a little bit more. Oh, yep, it's falling in half. And see that, that's what you want. That's gonna make really good gravy here in a few minutes. So, dump our carrots in here. We may have to add just a little bit of water at this point because literally almost all of our liquid is gone now. Like I said, I have a lot of people coming so I need a lot of vegetables. That's about three pounds of carrots there. Well, it is three pounds of carrots and I've got about three and a half pounds of potatoes that we're gonna put in in a minute. So I'm gonna add just maybe a cup of water to that to keep it from uh, drying out and burning while the carrots are cooking. And then we'll come back in about 30, 45 minutes and check on it and add the potatoes then. Our carrots have been cooking about 45 minutes. So we're gonna add the potatoes now and I have uh, washed and chunked up the potatoes you know, bite sized pieces because I don't want it to take another two hours to cook them. And like I said, they're new potatoes, so I did not peel them. These are Yukon Gold. That's what gives them that really pretty yellow color. And they're great. Now, it's clear that that giant pile of potatoes is not gonna fit in this pot. So we're gonna dig that very done roast out of the bottom and try and keep it sort of together. Put it on a plate cover it with aluminum foil and you can put it in the oven if you want on warm just to keep it hot until your potatoes are done and I usually have to do this when I make a big roast for a lot of people because the meat and all the vegetables just will not fit in my pots I 
This is tricky and I'm probably not going to get it all out of here in one piece. Definitely, I'm not going to get it all out of here in one piece. You can see those onions, how they've cooked up. Kids won't mind those. I guess you can tell we're not a fan of rare roast beef around here. It doesn't matter if there's some little pieces of roast, roast left down in the pan, it'll just add a little color to your vegetables. Alright. Potatoes in. And this is a pot of vegetables, my goodness. I hope these cook down just a little. Okay, I'm going to add enough water to almost cover them. Obviously, I can't cover them because I have a top full. Alright, I can see the water there now. I don't want them to boil over. The steam will cook the ones on the top and I'll probably come and stir it up a little bit. I do want to turn it up. It's been on medium low all this time. I'm just going to turn it up until it starts to boil again because I added so much water. And I'm going to add in about a teaspoon and a half salt. That's a lot of potatoes. I may have to add more. We'll check them when we come to make the gravy. And some more pepper. And it's just a taste. I always um, put salt and pepper on the table when I serve this too so people can add more if they want. Right, just put the top back on. When it starts to boil, you're going to turn it down a little bit. And we'll let it cook for about 30 more minutes and then we'll make the gravy, which is super, super easy. Do not buy the canned gravy or that stuff in a packet or something if you make this. It is just really easy. And I'll show you how to make that when we come back and check our potatoes. Okay, our vegetables are almost done and you can see that there's fat on top of this and I didn't add any oil or any butter or anything. There was plenty of fat in that roast to season everything. And I told you this gravy was simple. I have about a third of a cup of cornstarch. I'm going to add in just a little bit of cold water. Mix it up. You want to make sure you get all the lumps out of this because if you dump undissolved cornstarch into this, you're going to have lumpy gravy, not easy gravy. Okay, it's, you want your vegetables boiling really well, and you're just real slowly going to pour this cornstarch and water in here, kind of mix it around, and it's going to turn that into a gorgeous red-brown colored gravy. And you want to do this just a few minutes before your vegetables get completely done. And I'm going to stir it up a little bit more. You can see how thick it's getting on the top. But that will all kind of mix in. And that is how simple it is to make gravy to go with your pot roast. You saw the roast we had it already done everybody's here you can see them over there in the background so y'all try your pot roast enjoy it don't forget to click like and subscribe so it's really simple one pot um, it's pretty healthy too because we didn't add any fat don't forget to put salt pepper on the table serve it with some kind of bread and you've got a whole meal and it's great for a crowd 
good for a holiday, just any time you want to make it.